They got all of us out of our beds um, from brunch. Brunch. Hey, hey, some people are still in bed on Sundays at 3 o'clock. That's the day you're supposed to be doing a damn thing. Um, some people are at brunch. You're on your fifth mimosa. And people left their fifth mimosas. And they wanted to go see Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark was the spark for the whole NCAA tournament. Everybody tuned in for her. She made everything go. She deserves everything that should come into her. All the props. Everything indeed. But like we are going to say, we are going to give props to South Carolina for handling business. They were the more athletic team. They, I won't say they wanted it more. You could say they wanted it more by the offensive rebounds, but they were just more athletic. It's nothing that it's nothing that Iowa could do about it. They, it's, they still missed a lot of layups in that game, man. It's just, it's baffling to see. It's baffling to watch. It's hard on the eyes sometimes, but um, all in all, it still it gave us the excitement that the men's side just didn't give us, at least for the championship game. It was a little bit of a bore for the championship on the men's side, but the women's side, we were all tuned in. Caitlin Clark did her best, but she did go 10 for 28. Um, South Carolina came back with revenge on their minds. Um, Raven Johnson, she played uh, an amazing game defensively after they put her on Caitlin Clark more like the second half, second quarter-ish. Um, everybody's saying that she had a revenge from last year for her for them not in her shoot, but she still was awful for shooting. She was one for 10. That wasn't the impact that she made. She made the impact on the defensive side of the ball. Um, and everybody's going to talk about Cardosa. She had a monster game. Um, I'm still not on the hype train for it. Um, she doesn't have any post moves for me personally. I, I didn't enjoy her game. Like I thought she had a little bit more of getting into her own shot, but most of her points was just because she was just plain old bigger than them. And they were, couldn't do anything about it. Rudy wanted them to front her the whole game. And I say, well, they can, they can't really. They try to, but that just mess up their whole defense because they can't really pressure the ball like that because they're sitting in the zone. They're trying to make South Carolina shoot the ball, and South Carolina shot the hell, hell out the ball. Pow Pow, Tessa, um, they came out and they were the difference makers. Oh, and Fu Wiley was the biggest difference maker. She changed the whole floor of the game. She pushed the pace, um, and everybody got going from that point on when Fuwali came in the game because they were down. And um, it changed the whole momentum. Um, and another person, man, I think it was really um, Chloe Kitt. That's her name. She had like 11 points and 10 rebounds, man. She was actually making layups. She was finishing. She came out and hit a, a mid-range jump shot to start the, the half. And it really got things going. And um, I thought she did better than Cardosa. She played in way less minutes and had 11 and 10. Now, if she played the same amount of minutes as Cardoso, she would have had 22 and 18 just going by the numbers. So I thought she was more important, and she didn't get the, the, the props that she deserved. Everybody talked about Cardoso and, and Raven Johnson and the defense that was put on Caitlin Clark, and South Carolina did something that nobody else could really do besides West Virginia. They got into her. They forced her to do turnovers. They forced her to take bad shots, and that's something we really haven't seen from her. And like I said, it was just a great game all around. Um, I have a number of, thank you for watching. Come on now the podcast, please be sure to subscribe, like comment and ring that bell. So you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at come on now podcast and X and TikTok at come on now pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank you.